Welcome to Russia. Moldova. Georgia. A full-scale military invasion. And here is Ukraine. Now. How is Russia rebuilding its empire and what country will it target next? When the Kremlin liberators land in your backyard, remember you are in trouble, big trouble. Никогда, нигде, ни разу не угрожала украинскому народу. While most modern states promote human progress, we are making body parts a breakthrough in the fight against HIV. Of the world's most powerful rocket ever built, Russia, like any other empire, feeds itself through conquests and wars. We are the breakup of the Soviet Union saw 15 of its republics declare independence. Russia was not excited and began staging an imperial comeback. Russians recycled the dirty tricks out of the Machiavelli playbook. The first step is to incite an internal conflict. A bully always singles out the weakest. Russian leaders set their eyes on Moldova, the smallest of former USSR republics. Moscow usually spins a story about oppressed Russians and Russian language curbs. The Kremlin stoked dissent in Transnistria, where ethnic Russians and Ukrainians lived, and used its own garrison to help the separatists break away. The price? Over 1,000 killed. The region turned into a backward place of ruin and desolation. Were there any consequences for Russian leaders? It made Moscow more brazen. International borders? What borders? They're just blurred lines. Emboldened, the Kremlin came back in 2008 and provoked a war in Ossetia, a remote region of Georgia. Russia's actions have cast grave doubt on Russia's intentions. The second Russian trick is sending his army as peacekeepers to legitimize an invasion. Dmitry Medvedev, the Russian president, says that Russia has nearly completed its military targets. French leader Sarkozy arrived to save Georgia from occupation, but Russian troops stayed put in the breakaway region. His objective, the withdrawal of Russian troops from Georgia. Instead of Russian troops moving out of the Georgian city of Gori, more are moving in. It caused a stir in some European capitals, but Russia got away with it again. I think that we have a very difficult situation with Russia. I would, I would not like to blame the Russian people that the Russians are aggressive. Things turned really ugly in 2014 when Russia came after Ukraine. Vladimir Putin has long been obsessed with Ukraine. His, in his mind, Ukraine is not an independent country. It needs to be subsumed into Russia. That's what this is about. This is their revenge for their failure to hold the Soviet Union. While the world's eyes were on the Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russian generals had everything ready for the invasion in Crimea. Little green men were sent. And then comes the third trick a sham referendum, and voila! How did the world respond? This is a wake-up call. Each time Russia uh, takes these kinds of steps that are designed to destabilize Ukraine and violate their sovereignty, uh, that there are going to be consequences. Yet Russia walked away with a chunk of Ukraine's territory. Assembly, I think it's a moral victory for the Russian diplomacy. And because... soon it targeted Ukraine's Donbas. Step four of Russia's playbook is to create a fake independent state for their proxies. The Kremlin recycled its playbook in Moldova, Georgia and Ukraine. 
The weak response to its tricks backfired in 2022. The country has been invaded by its nuclear-armed neighbor on multiple fronts on Ukraine. That's right, we're hearing from an advisor. The Russian invasion in Ukraine rocked the world. The unthinkable has happened here. We have seen the cruel face of um, Putin's army. Bucha, Mariupol, Olenivka. The world leaders are now watching with unease. What's next for Russia is anybody's guess. The Baltic states, Poland, or maybe Finland again. You all be aware.